Too many people go around feeling wrong on the inside. They don't really like who they are. They focus on their faults, weaknesses. They're constantly critical toward themselves. That recording of everything they've done wrong is always playing in their mind. You're impatient. You blew your diet yesterday. You lost your temper. You're still struggling with that addiction. You should be ashamed of yourself. They wonder why they're not happy. It's because they have this war going on on the inside. You're not supposed to go through life feeling wrong about yourself. Quit focusing on your faults. Quit overanalyzing your weaknesses. Quit beating yourself up because you're not where you thought you would be. You have to learn to enjoy the glory that you're in right now. You may have some weaknesses, we all do. There may be some areas where you know you need to improve, but being down on yourself is not going to help you do better. The problem with not liking yourself is you're the only person that you can never get away from. You can get away from your boss, you can get away from your neighbor, you can get away from that crazy uncle, but you can never get away from you. I'm going to feel good about myself as soon as I lose this 10 pounds, as soon as I break this addiction, as soon as I control my mouth, then I'll get rid of the guilt, the heaviness. I'm asking you to feel good about yourself right where you are. If you don't understand this, you will go through life not liking yourself. As long as you're down on yourself, feeling like you don't measure up, you can't get it right, that's not only going to keep you from enjoying your life, but it's going to keep you from improving. You have to give yourself a break. You're on the potter's wheel. It's easy to stay negative toward yourself, down, you can't get it right. But when you make this decision to accept yourself, faults and all, instead of beating yourself up, you have the attitude, no, I'm not perfect. This doesn't mean we don't try to improve. It means you don't let that heaviness weigh you down to where you think that there's something wrong with you. One of the worst mistakes you could make is to go through life being against yourself. You have to look away from your faults, look away from your shortcomings. Focusing on your weaknesses will distract you from your purpose. And some people live with this nagging feeling that's always telling them, you're not attractive enough, you're not disciplined enough, you still have that addiction, you'll never get it right. They've heard that playing in their mind so long that it's become normal. Why don't you turn off that negative recording? Why don't you quit thinking about everything wrong with you and start thinking about what's right with you? What I'm saying is, it's okay to feel good about who you are while you're in the process of changing. Very powerful when you can say, I like who I am. I feel good about myself. Most people can't do this. They say, I would feel good about myself if I didn't have these weaknesses. I would be happy with who I am if I was a better parent, if I was more patient, if I wasn't so jealous. Or Joel, I would hold my head up high if I hadn't made these mistakes, if I hadn't blown that relationship. There will always be some reason why you shouldn't feel good about who you are. The accuser will make sure to remind you of something that you're not doing right. Some area you're not up to par, some way that you failed. If you're going to live in victory, you have to put your foot down and say, that's it. I'm done being against myself. My challenge in our generation is that gradually through entertainment, through television, through media, through every way possible, we are living in a generation of the dumbing down of ideas. Because we have traded effectiveness for busyness. 
But if you're always down on yourself because you're not far enough along, you're not growing as fast as you would like, you'll live frustrated. It's very freeing when you can be happy with who you are, even though you have some areas that you still need to improve in. If you're waiting till you overcome all your weaknesses, till you perform perfectly, then you're going to feel good about yourself. You'll be waiting your whole life. 80% of the things we do are busy things that we do in an area that is not effective, that the average person only spends 20% of their time doing the thing that they are really gifted at, created at, passionate about, excited to do, and the rest of it is all the dismal, dumb stuff that we all have to do in order to survive. Just crazy stuff that we're doing. Wonder what would happen if we would go from doing 80% of things that are busy but not effective and 20% of the things that are really effective if we would switch those numbers around and only give 20% of our time to the things that we have to do and 80% of our time to the thing that we were created to do. Your destiny is too important to let that heaviness weigh you down. Your time is too valuable to sit around thinking about everything that's wrong with you. That's taking your joy, your energy, your creativity, your anointing. Start looking away from all of that. You're on the potter's wheel. You're not going to change overnight. It's going to happen little by little. Today is the day for you to learn the secrets of life. Today is a day for you to begin creating a joyous, fulfilling life. How do you feel right now? Do you feel bad? What are your current emotions? What is your gut feeling? Some people say life sucks, which is a terrible affirmation. But it isn't life that sucks. It's your thinking that sucks. Don't waste time arguing for your limitations, poor relationships, problems, illnesses, poverty, etc. The more you talk about the problem, the more you anchor it in place. Don't blame others for your problems. It's just another waste of time. Like attracts like. I mean, you attract, now, I, you know, not just what you fear, you attract what you feel, what you are, what you attract. When you change your thinking process, then everything in your life will also change. You will be amazed and delighted to see how people, places, things, and circumstances can change. You have to understand, you are a magnet. Whatever you are, that's what you draw to you. If you're negative, you're gonna draw negativity. You're positive, you draw positive. You're a kind person, more people are kind to you. So you're like a magnet, you know, and you got to understand something about like attracts like. If you see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Today is the day to begin to release all your limitations. You can change your life for the better. You already have the tools within you to do this. These tools are your thoughts and your beliefs. An affirmation is really anything you say or think. A lot of what we normally say and think is quite negative and does not create good experiences for us. We have to retrain our thinking and speaking into positive patterns if we want to change our lives. An affirmation opens the way. It is a beginning point of change. In essence, you are saying to your subconscious mind, I am taking responsibility. I am aware that there is something I can do to change. When I talk about doing affirmations, I mean to consciously choose words that will either help to eliminate something from your life or help to create something new in your life. 
Every thought you think and every word you speak is an affirmation. All our self-talk is a stream of affirmations. You are using affirmations every moment, whether you know it or not. You are affirming and creating your life experiences with every word and every thought. Your beliefs are merely habitual thinking patterns that you learned as a child. Many of them work very well for you. Other beliefs may be limiting your ability to create the very things you may say you want. What you want and what you believe you deserve may be very different. You need to pay attention to your thoughts so you can begin to eliminate the ones that are creating experiences that you do not want in your life. Please realize that every complaint is an affirmation of something you think you don't want in your life. Every time you get angry, you are affirming that you want more anger in your life. Every time you feel like a victim, you are affirming that you want to continue to feel like a victim. If you feel that life does not give you what you want in your world, then it is certain you will never have the goodies that life gives to others until you change the way you think and talk. You are not a bad person for thinking the way you do. You have just never learned how to think and talk. The world is just now beginning to learn that our thoughts create our experiences. Your parents probably didn't know this, so they could not possibly teach it to you. They taught you how to look at life in the way that their parents taught them. So nobody is wrong. However, it is time for all of us to wake up and to begin to consciously create our lives in a way that pleases and supports us. You can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. You just need to learn how. Affirmations are like seeds planted in soil. Poor soil, poor growth. Rich soil, abundant growth. The more you can choose to think thoughts that make you feel good, the quicker the affirmations work. Think happy thoughts. It's that simple. And it is doable. The way you choose to think right now is just that, a choice. You may not realize it because you have thought this way for so long, but it really is a choice. Now, today, this moment, you can choose to change your thinking. It won't turn around overnight, but if you are consistent and daily make the choice to think thoughts that make you feel good, you will definitely make positive changes in every area of your life. I awaken each morning with blessings and gratitude for the wonderful life I lead, and I make the choice to think happy thoughts no matter what others are doing. The only moment you ever live is this moment. This moment is the only time you have any control over. If we won't choose to feel good in this moment, then how can we create future moments that are abundant and fun? How do you feel right now? Do you feel good? Do you feel bad? What are your current emotions? What is your gut feeling? Would you like to feel better? Then reach for a better feeling thought. If you feel bad in any way, sad, grumpy, bitter, resentful, angry, fearful, guilty, depressed, jealous, critical, etc., then you have temporarily lost your connection to the flow of good experiences that the universe has waiting for you. Don't waste your thoughts on blame. No person, place, or thing has any control over your feelings because they do not think in your mind. It is also why you really have no control over others because you cannot control their thoughts. No one can control another unless that person gives permission. 
So you want to be aware of this powerful mind you have. You can take total control over your own thinking. It is the only thing you will ever have total control of. What you choose to think is what you will get in life. What kind of thoughts make you feel good? Thoughts of love, appreciation, gratitude, remembering joyful experiences, thinking of good things you would like to have happen in the future, rejoicing that you are alive, blessing your body with love, and enjoying this moment and looking forward to tomorrow. Thinking these kinds of thoughts is an act of loving yourself, and loving yourself creates miracles in your life. It is a focal point to begin changing your thinking. Affirmative statements are going beyond the reality of the present into the creation of the future by the words you use in the now. When you choose to say, I am very prosperous, you may have very little money in the bank at the moment. What you are doing is planting seeds for future prosperity. Each time you repeat it, you are affirming the seeds you have planted in the atmosphere of your mind. That is why you want it to be a happy atmosphere. Things grow much quicker in fertile, rich soil. It is important for you to always say your affirmations in present tense. I have or I am. So when you catch a negative thought, just think to yourself, this is an old thought, I no longer choose to think that way. Then find a positive thought to substitute for it as quickly as you can. Remember, you want to feel good as much as possible. Thoughts of bitterness, resentment, blame, and guilt make you feel miserable. And that is a habit you really want to release. Affirmations are solutions that will replace whatever problem you might have. Whenever you have a problem, repeat over and over. All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come, and I am safe. This simple affirmation will work miracles in your life. Go over this section several times until you really get the principles and can live them. Also zero in on the sections that may have the most meaning to you and practice the affirmations and remember to make up affirmations of your own. The first affirmations for you to use right now are, I can do it. I can feel good about myself. I can make positive changes in my life. 